employees of the United Nations have been linked to the October 7th attack last year on Israel by Hamas. The United Nations has said that nine employees of the UNRWA Agency for Palestinian Refugees may have been involved in the attack and they will be fired from the organization. United Nations spokesperson Farhan Haq has said that there is sufficient information for the termination of the nine individuals, but they will need to evacuate any further steps to fully corroborate the allegations. In a statement, UNRWA chief Felipe Lazzarini said that the nine employees cannot work for the agency, assisting that the staff must respect its policies, including the humanitarian principle of neutrality. After the announcement, the international spokesperson for Israel's army said that UNRWA had stopped or stooped to a new level of laws. This comes after the United Nations Oversight Body, the Office of International Oversight Services, or OIOS, completed its investigations into the allegations. Israel had alleged earlier this year that a total of 19 UNRWA employees may have been involved in the attack. Investigators traveled to Israel to review their information and to a man to obtain information from UNRWA. Israel's allegations had prompted many governments, including the U.S., to abruptly suspend funding to the agency. This had threatened its efforts to deliver aid to Gaza. Remember, the 7th of October attack resulted in the deaths of 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and Israel has vowed to destroy Hamas in retaliation for the attack. According to the territory's health ministry, Israel's retaliatory campaign has killed over 39,000 people in Gaza. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.